So I'm gonna try to use the same location where it's at on my OBX aluminum oil pan, which I have on my F20B setup. So that's the drain line. And that's my setup. Okay, so my old oil pan, it has the oil return line somewhere around here. A little bit to the left of the last bolt hole that there is. There is kind of a little dip here. So I think I might take it and use this flat area right here. Okay, so these are the tools that I'll be using. A die grinder with a burr, a digital caliper, some tape, a punch, a step drill bit, of course, your bung, and I got this uh, 10 AN uh, fitting just to check the clearances. And a drill with a bit big enough so you can start your step drill bit. Okay, so to begin, I'm gonna start off by using the die grinder and grinding off this slip right here. So when I put the bung, I have more clearance for the fitting. So first, I'm gonna uh, grind this off right here. So I couldn't find my uh, file, so I'm just gonna use this Dremel just to uh, smooth out the rough edges. Okay, now what you want to do, you want to grab your bung with your AN fitting, and then you want to kind of estimate where you want to put it at, rotate it a little, a little bit so you know that it clears, and then from there, just grab your punch, make an indication mark, and start drilling. Okay, so grab your punch, make that indication mark, where do you want it? can't see it there you go all right so just take the drill and drill a hole through it okay as you can see we have the hole now we're going to use our step drill Okay, now let's measure the back of the bunk. Here's where the digital calipers come into play. This is what you want to measure right here. You can just eyeball it if you can, but I'm just gonna use it because I have the tools. And now measure the step drill. So this is what we're looking at. We want to get to the third from the last. Okay, grab your step drill, start drilling. <laughs> And that's what you want to see. It's flush. It sits nice and tight. Nice and flush on this side. And all we have to do is sand some of that paint off, front and back, and get the weld. Okay. So we got the paint off. So what we're gonna do here, we're just gonna tack it from the outside because I plan to weld it uh, flush from the inside.
Okay, so this is how it looks after I welded it and um, grinded off the rough edges. So I'm pretty much done with it. Oh, that's the spot that I uh, took off some paint so I could get some good ground for the welder. I used the Harbor Freight $90 uh, welder. I'm just gonna hit it with some paint. It should be good. All right, here it is. All done. Painted. So it's looking good. So this is why you have to notch the rim of the oil pan. See how you got that clearance? No interference. Looking good.